Note, all on-screen information is presented through audio content. Logo appears, OHC Osang Healthcare. Today, we are excited to introduce our latest product, Quick Finder COVID-19 and Flu Antigen Self-Test. A blue and white product box appears. Please allow me to present quick reference instructions for your convenience. Before getting started, thoroughly wash your hands for a minimum of 20 seconds and carefully review the quick reference instructions. Icons and text appear. Wash hands thoroughly. Read instructions carefully. Let's get started. We will take a moment to prepare the necessary materials for the test. Text appears. One, prepare the materials. In the box, you will find two foil pouches and a swab. The box opens from the small end and printed instructions and pouch components slide out. The swab is in a narrow paper and plastic peel pouch. One pouch contains a test cassette, a rectangular white and blue pouch with text labeling, OHC Osang Healthcare. The pouch fades to show the test cassette inside, a long flat white rectangle. And the other pouch includes a filter cap and a buffer tube. A shorter rectangular white pouch labeled extraction buffer tube and filter cap. The pouch fades to show the filter cap, the small piece with a narrow nozzle, and the tube, which is cylindrical with a flat foil seal on top. Open the foil pouch that contains the extraction buffer tube and filter cap. The white pouch tears open across the short end from a notch in the edge. The tube and cap slide out. Begin by taking the extraction buffer tube in hand and gently peel off the sealing foil being careful not to spill the buffer solution inside the tube. Hands hold the tube upright and peel the seal off the top from a small tab. Push the extraction buffer tube into the perforated tube holder located at the front of the box, labeled Insert Tube Here. The view zooms in on a dotted circle labeled on the front side of the box in the bottom right corner. With the box lying flat, the tube lowers into the holder. Meanwhile, Please open the pouch that contains the cassette and place the cassette on a clean, flat surface. The white and blue pouch tears open across the short end from a notch in the edge. Then the cassette slides out and lowers onto a flat surface. Make sure you do not touch the sample well of the cassette. There are two oval indentations on the cassette. Text appears by the smaller indentation on the bottom end, sample well. Secondly, Let's explore the steps for performing the test. Text appears. Two, performing the test. After you have completed the necessary preparations to conduct the test, open swab package from the stick end and remove the swab by the stick side. The paper and plastic pouch peels apart at the thinner stick end of the swab. Then a hand pinches the stick end and slides the swab out without touching the rounded swab head on the other end. Text appears. Make sure you swab both nostrils. Inaccurate test results may occur if the nasal sample is not properly collected. Do not insert the swab any farther if you feel any resistance. Using medium pressure, rub and rotate the swab against the inside of the nostril, making at least five circles. The entire swab head slides into a nostril and moves around the inside five times. Repeat in the other nostril using the same swab. The swab moves into the other nostril and makes five circles. Make sure you've swabbed both nostrils. It's important to collect the nasal sample properly to ensure accurate test results. An illustration of germs on the swab head after collection. Place the swab into the extraction buffer tube and completely immerse the swab head in the solution. A hand inserts the swab into the tube and pushes the swab head to the bottom. Vigorously mix the solution by rotating the swab forcefully against the side of the tube at least 10 times, keeping the swab tip submerged in the buffer solution the entire time. The hand stirs the swab in circles several times, keeping the swab head at the bottom of the tube. Remove the swab while squeezing the tube with your fingers to ensure that the sample on the swab is fully mixed into the buffer solution. A hand squeezes the tube near the middle, 
while the other hand slowly pulls the swab head through the squeezed portion and removes it. Attach the filter cap onto the test tube. A hand holds the cap by the narrow nozzle and presses the wide end into the tube. Carefully squeeze only four drops of the buffer solution into the sample well at a 90 degree angle. Please be cautious not to exceed four drops when squeezing the tube into the sample well. The cassette appears on a flat surface. From top to bottom, it features a label, COVID-19 slash flu, the longer oval indentation, a label, OHC, the smaller oval sample well indentation, and a label, droplet icon times four. The capped tube appears held vertical and upside down, so the tip of the cap is just above the sample well. Four drops fall into the well. Set a timer and wait for 15 minutes before reading the test result. A timer counts 15 minutes next to the test cassette. During this time, it's important not to disturb the test cassette as any disruption may lead to inaccurate results. Icon of a crossed out hand. Text appears. Test results should not be read until after the sample has been added and the test has been allowed to run for 15 minutes and only test lines that appear at the correct position and in the correct color should be read and interpreted. Well, it's time to introduce how to interpret the test results. Text appears. Three, test result interpretation. Let's start with positive results. Seven examples of the longer oval indentation from the cassette, each showing a rectangular window inside. The window is labeled with a column of evenly spaced letters along the right side from top to bottom, C, S, B, and A. Each example shows a horizontal pink line across the top of the window by the C, with a different combination of one, two, or three additional horizontal lines below it, each line appearing next to one of the other letters. The different positive results are highlighted one by one. If lines appear on C and S, it indicates a positive result for COVID-19. One pink line by C at the top, with a second by S just below it. If lines are visible on C and A, this implies a positive result for flu A. One pink line by C at the top, with a second by A at the bottom. If lines appear on C and B, it indicates a positive result for flu B. One pink line by C at the top, with one blue line by the B near the middle. If lines are visible on C, S, and A, it indicates a positive result for COVID-19 and flu A. One pink line by C at the top, with a second by S just below it, and a third by A at the bottom. If lines appear on C, S, and B, it indicates a positive result for COVID-19 and flu B. One pink line by C at the top, with a second by S just below it, and one blue line by the B near the middle. If lines are visible on C, B, and A, this implies a positive result for flu A and flu B. One pink line by C at the top, with one blue line by the B near the middle, and a second pink line by A at the bottom. If lines appear on C, S, B, and A, it indicates a positive result for COVID-19, flu A, and flu B. One pink line by C at the top, with a second by S just below it, one blue line by the B near the middle, and a third pink line by A at the bottom. For negative test results, if C is visible and there is no line at S, B, or A, you may not have COVID-19, flu A, or flu B. Another example appears, showing only one horizontal pink line across the top of the rectangular window by the C. Text appears, if the control line at C is visible and you do not see a line at A, B, or S, it means you may not have COVID-19, flu A, or flu B virus. Next, we'll take a look at the invalid test result. If a control line is not visible at C after 15 minutes, even if any other line is visible in the results window, the test has failed and is considered invalid. Two more examples. One is entirely blank and an arrow points at the empty space by the C. The other shows no line by the C, one pink line by the S, 
one blue line by the B, and a second pink line by A. Text appears. These are example invalid results. For a complete set of invalid results, refer to the instructions for use available on the website at https colon slash slash www.osangllc.com slash products slash quickfinder dash covid dash one nine dash flu dash antigen dash tests. If the test is invalid, please repeat the test procedure using a new test kit and sample. Text appears. Repeat the test procedure using a new test kit and sample. Let's jump into how to understand the results. Text appears. Four, understanding your results. For invalid results, this test did not produce valid results and should not be used. Two cassettes appear, showing the invalid result examples, both with no line by the C. It cannot determine whether you have COVID-19, flu A, or flu B. Please repeat the test using a new kit and sample. Text appears, this test did not work. The result should not be used. The test cannot determine if you have COVID-19, flu A, or flu B. The test needs to be repeated with a new kit and sample. A negative result means the virus was not detected in the sample. Text appears, the virus from COVID-19, flu A, and or flu B were not detected in the sample. Animation with speech bubbles, patient. I tested negative, but I'm still feeling symptoms. Healthcare provider, I'll provide further medical evaluation. If you test negative, but still have symptoms resembling COVID-19, flu A, or flu B, consider seeing a healthcare provider. Text appears, if you tested negative and continue to experience COVID-19, flu A, and or flu B-like symptoms, you should seek follow-up care with your healthcare provider. Positive result means the COVID-19, flu A, or flu B virus have been detected in your sample. Please contact your healthcare provider or local health authorities immediately and follow local guidelines for self-isolation. Icons appear. A person at home using a phone, a healthcare provider, a healthcare facility, and text make my test count over a silhouette of the United States. Report your test result at makemytestcount.org. This voluntary and anonymous reporting helps public health teams understand COVID-19, flu A or flu B virus spread in your area and across the country and informs public health decisions. Thank you for testing with QuickFinder COVID-19 and flu antigen self-test. The blue and white product box appears. Fine print. This product has been FDA cleared, K243262. This product has been authorized only for the detection of proteins from SARS-CoV-2, influenza A, and influenza B, not for any other viruses or pathogens. Logo appears, OHC, Osang Healthcare.